HP Hollow here to kick off our first series of YouTube videos on this channel. Hooray! Uh, this comes about because as Jacob and I have done conventions, fans have come to us with a lot of questions and we love your questions. But the thing is, a lot of our conventions are pretty much in the same geographic area, which means that the only people who actually get the answers to these questions are in South Carolina and Georgia and North Carolina and maybe occasionally Tennessee. And so we figured our fans elsewhere would like the same answers, and so what we are going to start is a series of question and answer videos. To begin, there are two questions that we get asked a million times at every convention that we do. The first is, is that a plug with a sword? The second is always, oh my gosh, who does your covers? Uh, the first one has an easy answer, yes. That is a plug with a sword, and if you're curious, you can read all about him in The Wizard's Way. The second question has a slightly more complicated answer, and that is what this video is going to go into today. I'm going to cover who does our covers, how we go about finding them, and other such fun details. Now, for the curious, I'm going to include information about where you can contact and commission all of these artists because they're awesome and artists love money as much as the rest of us. I'm going to include information down below so that you can find them on DeviantArt or ArtStation or Twitter or wherever else you care to look. One of the keys to getting a book in a reader's hands, other than just having a really good book to begin with, is having a really great cover to go with that book. And Jacob and I have always enjoyed really lavishly illustrated book covers, and so we try to emulate that on ours. Um, now, most of our artists we actually find through DeviantArt. I'm constantly lurking on there, looking at stuff. And um, that was one way in which I actually reconnected with our first artist. The first artist that we worked with on the Dragons of Jupiter and Time Reavers covers was Robert Chu, and I actually found him a lot more easily than I did the other artists we worked with. I went to high school with him. And his art was fantastic back then, but as we graduated and went our separate ways, I continued to follow him on his Deviant Art page. And what was fantastic when we were teenagers became spectacular over the years to follow. Robert takes a really interesting and original approach to mechanical design and power armor design. And given that our first book, The Dragons of Jupiter, was about soldiers fighting in all sorts of power armor, and that Time Reavers was about giant mechanical bugs ripping up everything. Um, he just seemed like a natural fit, and so it didn't take much thinking at all for us to send him an email and say, hey, can we commission you to do these? And his work has been fantastic. For the next project, the Seraphim Revival Trilogy, which starts with Bane of the Dead, um, we wanted to go with a slightly different visual style just to separate it from the previous works, and I had happened upon the Deviant Art page of Adam Byrne. Adam has a really unique, atmospheric approach to digital art. You have to stare at an Adam Byrne picture for like five minutes before you figure out all the good things that are going on in it. And he also naturally did mechanical designs well, and that sort of thing is necessary for a trilogy of books about giant robots. Which actually brings up a funny story about how Jacob goes about commissioning artists. When people pick up the Seraphim Revival books, they'll sometimes look at them and say, Oh, so that's what the giant robots look like. And Jacob will promptly say, nope, which begs the question, what? They're on the cover and you designed the cover. What's up with that? Um, the thing is, when Jacob has artists design covers, he likes them to have fun with it because it's not fun to work with someone who is picky, picky, picky about detail to the point where it's just not even worth the money they're giving you. Um, Jacob basically says, here's a general idea of what I want. Here's what the book's about. Here's what the giant robots sort of look like go to town on it. I know when I read the Seraphim Revival books, they looked like really flashy Gundams to me. When Adam drew his interpretation, he drew a lot of inspiration from the Armored Core series. And so it just goes to show that every reader, everyone who encounters the ideas in our stories, um, have different ways of interpreting them. Finally, we come to our most recent artist, which was Mandy O'Brien, sometimes listed as Mandy Dunkley, on The Wizard's Way. And she is someone whom I had been following for years on DeviantArt. And the thing about The Wizard's Way that separates it from all of our other books is that it's not about giant robots or otherwise giant machines or power armored people beating up on each other. It's about steampunk wizards and talking animals and all the trouble they get into. And so we definitely needed someone different for that cover. Mandy has a very 
characterful illustration style such that you can't look at a single one of her illustrations without thinking that there's not some complex story behind it. They're just food for the imagination. And in addition to really appealing human designs, she also had really appealing animal designs, which was going to be necessary for a book about sword fighting pugs, among other things. And so when I was looking for an illustrator for The Wizard's Way, that was my top pick, hands down. Hello, my name is Jacob Hollow. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about the books, please check out the links below. Goodbye! Ah! No, what are you doing? Stop licking me. There's a cat behind me. I have weird shadows right now. I've got the, the ghoulish underlight right now. That was unintentional. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I hear you. You're laughing right now. I am laughing. Hello, I'm Jake Apollo. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. Start over, Jacob. I need to practice. Okay. Hey, Nova. What? What are you doing? I don't want to say anything to this thing. It's weird. Pretend I'm the internet but not the butthole version of the internet. I'm the nice internet. There is no such thing. There's a nice internet. <laughs> it just <laughs> pretends to be nice, Heather. Where do you think all the music cats come from? <laughs> it's, it's all a facade. Hey, Nova. Stop licking my feet. I'm not good at the canned stuff. If someone like gives me a question, I can talk about, you know, and answer that. I feel more comfortable actually, you know, I actually feel more comfortable with an ad-lib situation rather than doing something canned. Well, pretend that someone asked you questions. But that's not what I'm talking about right what? now. What? What did you do? It just did a boop. Hello? Hello? Okay. Actually, actually, Actually. Are you gonna do a tank with Nova? Goodbye. <laughs> I'll have to say goodbye on my own, Heather. <laughs>